Okay, as uh, first reported on Godlike Productions, the forum over there, there's a link in the comments section down below on uh, this artisa.myfeedportal.com. But look at what they're reporting. You see it for yourself. Flame, or in any event, a flame-like you know, structure or, or event happening here. Pretty amazing. Well, what we're seeing here looks like the presence of a flame in the plume of crude oil coming out of uh, one of the secondary leaks. This is not by the BOP, but one of the open pipes on the riser. And that looks like a flame. There's no other way to describe it. I thought maybe it was mud, heavy mud residue, but that wouldn't have this flame effect. Earlier today, we saw this plume circulating from a different angle. You see it better. It looked like a tornado, much like in the presence of heat, what uh, smoke or other uh, gases or particles that are lighter will do, spin around. Uh, I don't know what exactly is going on. But it certainly looks to me pretty funky. If it is a flame, it begs the question, why doesn't it flare up every now and then with all the supposed methane coming out of there? Well, maybe the methane is traveling along the top of the pipe and ignited just enough to, you know, just enough concentration to burn, and then when it reaches the larger ocean, it dissipates and the flame uh, goes out. That could be one theory. Not sure, but in any event, certainly something to keep an eye on here on myfeedportal.com, the News USA subsite. That's newsusa.myfeedportal.com. Effects of global warming may be much more imminent than most people realize. Hidden at the bottom of the ocean is a little known factor that could accelerate the whole process. Massive deposits of frozen methane, a potent greenhouse gas. The amount of methane in in the ocean is much larger than the amount of methane and CO2 that Albert 